Anyway. Another scene done. Alright. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victim. That's why he covers up faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. I can flip through this. all that gift? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake. Why is this guy a dick? Continue, Jaden. Then I study the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this? Or a zone. For the moment, about 10 square miles. Great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You get a question one by one. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims are drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting, We're wasting our time, time with this, with this bullshit. bullshit. The killer's, the killer's out, out there somewhere. somewhere. We, we gotta, gotta get, get off, off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. Organized. By the streets. Tell me, Agent Jade, did you get your vast experience on This is a real douche. Fucking read about it in some school book. I go after, man. But I just want FBI and you're not. Shut up. Sit down. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecast is right, less than 72 hours. Oh, Reggie, you better start making some moves. Hello, housekeeping. Me fluff your pillow. Housekeeping. Me fluff your pillow. Me bring you mint. Hello. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside. Of it. Maybe we should. There is now. Oh. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's not legal at all. But it was well done. Call the cops. This dude's a real piece of work, I'll tell you what. Oh, actually, I forgot all about this part. This part, this gets interesting. Have you ever seen the movie Seven? Yeah, this is a little trippier. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? You think? He's a god fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. We question him a few months back. I think he has a couple crosses. Definitely has a couple crosses. And this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I come to Earth to persecute him. You look like the, you act like the Antichrist. You're a real douche.
getting invitations to parties right now while I'm streaming. It's hilarious. Can't even see what kind of books he's reading. Can't even make it out. All right, let's go see what's in his bedroom here. He's right on his walls. Man, this dude's got issues, bro. This dude has got issues. On this guy has more issues than Sports Illustrated. And quite the selection of drugs as well, it seems. That's not a good combo. Alright, so that don't make no sense. Let's go check the bathroom real quick, like. Oh, that's not the bathroom. This is the bathroom. <laughs> he just kicks the door in and then he leaves. Uh, nope, nothing in there. There's gotta be something in here. I'm honestly not sure if, uh, what other games this company's made, to be flat out honest. I'm not too familiar with the company that made this. Um, it's a good question. If you find out, please let me know. Ah, you jerk. God, these controls sometimes, when it switches camera angles on you. It can get a bit brutal. Check the kitchen out. There's got to be something in the kitchen. Can't look at anything there. And this dude just got drugs everywhere, y'all. Like, just this guy's a pharmacist. Right, I think I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Uh oh. This is just like seven. On the, uh, he would have shot me in the back of the seven. You didn't hear that bag get dropped right behind your head? You're a terrible detective. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers for base defenses. I'm agent nominated FBI. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Now what's up with the right? Why? You have a million in here. Like vampires? And the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Oh, so you met my ex-girlfriend. You were arrested in a case where child disappeared from the car. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because. I am the chosen one. That's all. You're the chosen one, right? Chosen one to get passed around the shower when you go to prison. You have a job. You know what I mean. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? We both know who talks to you. Speak that name. Wait, what are you saying? Blake, Blake, what are you what doing? doing? I can't, I can't talk, talk about, about it. it. You must not talk about it. it. He orders, he orders you, to you to go and find, find new, new prey, prey, doesn't he? He, he needs, needs more, more and more. more. No! You must, you must mention, mention him. You'll, you'll bring him, him here! here. Bring who here? Find that kid in the park. The voice is tormenting all night long. You wanted them to stop, did you, Nathaniel? All right, he's he's getting a little overboard. Uh, I was trying to stop him. That's enough. Just punch him right in the face. So you obeyed them to make him stop. You took that one up. Yeah. No. A little good cop, bad cop. I mean, this dude breaks in a door. Police brutality. This guy might be the killer. This guy's a real piece of poop. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun and send it back to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to work for the shooters. For Christ's sake, shoot! He ain't gonna shoot. Drop the gun now. 
Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. <laughs> I'm going to reason with this madness. Is he going to shoot him? You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Now jumping for the gun down on the floor. I should just shoot this dude. I should just shoot him. I really want to shoot him. I ain't gonna lie, I want to shoot him. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire and may divine power protect in all the other spirits that prowl the world. This thing, he ain't gonna pull the trigger. He would have done it already. He's talking too much. Concentrate on my voice, Daniel. Listen only to my voice. Back away, slowly. Drop the gun. Oh, see, that's funny. That was the option. Drop it. That's what I'd be saying. Drop it now, or I'm going to plug you in your shoulder bone. And then I might shoot you in your ball. Left or right one, I haven't decided yet. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. I almost pulled the trigger right there. I was so close to Nor one, my finger right here on it. I was like, yeah! And then I honestly, I can't lie, I remember that from playing in PS3. Uh, or else I shot him. My finger was just about to press it, and I was like, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that was a good time. So that's what I want my apartment to look like. I'm going to start redecorating it to look just like that. I'm going to have to start getting on Amazon, order up a shit ton of crosses. <laughs> Probably like a, a cross outlet. <laughs> Buycrossinbulk.com or something.